album went platinum and their second released late last year was certified gold after debuting at number one on the official album chart. Hard rock band Devil Skin have now recently been crowned with a TUI for Best Rock Artist at the New Zealand Music Awards. Paul and Nick Martin are with us now to tell us all about their upcoming tour. Welcome guys. Yes, and congratulations. Can I ask you first, that video that we were just watching then, uh, where was that filmed? It was amazing. Um, in the UK, in Derbyshire, and um, yeah, this amazing castle that was just there. And I always wonder when you're doing videos like that and you're really getting into it, uh, do you have, you obviously the song is on like a tiny little cassette player or something, so it's like really tinny that you're mouthing along yeah, to? Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's impossible with the drums as yeah. well. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. you, you can't fake that. And a few yeah. tourists walking by and Oh, go, there's a lot of tourists because it's an open park, and so, um, you know, that, that part of the video was okay, but there's another part where Nala and myself were dressed as blue monsters and shirts off. <laughs> And fully body painted, so um, we frightened a few of the locals there. You know, get a few children. <laughs> oh, Engineerians walking their grandchildren and stuff and seeing us. <laughs> I love it. It is haunted, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, well, can I say congratulations <clears throat> on what has been a phenomenal year for Devil Skin? What was it like picking up that tui? Nick, I'll start with you actually. Um, I was honestly more excited to, to play. Because right. we got to perform that night as well, and, and performing on live tea is just just an unreal buzz, keeps you on your toes. But um, no, it was it was pretty awesome. You know, we we put a couple words together, and um, it's we're an independent rock band from Hamilton, and there's a, a long list of people to to thank. Um, but we're all family as well, so so you know. We get to celebrate in our own yeah. kind and of way. And when we talk yeah. about family, when we you're literally family, like yeah. you guys are, are father and son. Yeah. yeah. And also, there's there's another connection. So, uh, Jenny is your auntie, yep. your sister-in-law. Yeah. And so, what about the other band members? The connection now, there as well. Now, see, people see me and Nail because we look slightly similar to some people, and they um, <laughs> they naturally no, really? assume they naturally assume <laughs> that we're twins. Um, and yeah, we just play along with it. So yeah, we're evil twins and whatever people want to say. But <laughs> we're the only ones in the band that aren't actually related now, so we <laughs> have to adopt them. And Paul, yeah. I've known you for years, you know. Jeez, I think, Nick, you were probably one when I first met <laughs> you. Yeah, it's kind of scary, <laughs> isn't it? You've made it a bit, Mike. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thanks, bit. thanks, same. Um, and, you know, you were part of the Axitec. It was, you know, a huge radio show that continues to this day. Was it always your plan to breed a drummer or was it you were you just lucky that Nick was into drums? Well, uh, I've had drummer issues in every band I've ever been in, I think, until this one. And, um, yeah, it was, it was really nice to actually have him at home and press gang him when I really needed him. <laughs> <laughs> Fully press ganged him into the band to play some gigs because um, the, the other guy had, had uh, to have an operation. So there was no one else. So, you know, 15-year-old Nick, he was forced into it. Wow, 15. But you've been, you've been playing for a bit, haven't you? Because you I'd, played at the big day out when you were, what, 13 or something? Yes, yeah, so I'd been I'd been fiddling around the drums for maybe two years before before I joined the band. And, yeah, in two, the start of 2009, um, Paul, with his other band, World War Four, they, um, he asked me to, well, asked, forced, press gang, <laughs> um, into, into playing some percussion, so two big drums on, on the stage at Big Day Out, 2009. So, wow. yeah, 13. And, and is, is heavy metal a genre that you love, or is it just something you've grown to love because of your dad? Oh, I, I, yeah, I've definitely grown to love it because that's the household that we have, but I think it's helped me kind of appreciate all genres of music, but I'm just naturally yeah. inclined to, to the hard, heavy stuff anyway. Right. So. Good, good on the drums, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. What do you guys listen to when you're not, when you're not playing? Do you have any other? All sorts, yeah. Everything, I mean, Adele? I've got... <laughs> everything but I like Adele. Adele. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of hip-hop, but I mean, I love a lot of music and, you know, like there's old artists like, um, you know, old rock and roll stuff and, and Elvis and Glen Campbell and stuff like that. It's still inspires me, you know. Yeah. Still, just good music. Yeah. You know. And you know, you guys are huge overseas as well. You know, something when you read up about you guys, the amount of tours you've done overseas, the amount of respect that you get, and in New Zealand, there's such a huge groundswell of people that love hard rock. Has it been hard though in New Zealand to develop it? Because I think you've single-handedly helped yeah, keep this I, genre alive. I think the industry's never really been set up to help our rock bands and rock and, and harder rock sort of artists and stuff like that. So, you know, we've carved our own way, I think, and um, it, it's been really organic. So our, our gigs, we started getting a few more people to the gigs and so we'd invest more in the PA and the light show and the, and the whole show and everything. Yeah. And, and it's just sort of grown like that. And we still, you know, freak out. We, we get to a gig and there's a queue 
outside. I was, oh my mm. God, and mm. Briscoe's got a sail on or something, you know. <laughs> Free pop, yeah. But they're there for us, and so, you know, it's, yeah, it's amazing. Well, they love you, don't you? I mean, your fans are fully, mm. and they're, inti they're really intense oh, too. Like, yeah, they yeah. love you. Yeah. <laughs> There's no, oh yeah, I like Devil's Gun, they love Devil's yeah. Gun. Yeah, they do. It's and, you know, cool. and as you said, you've been involved with a few bands, but this one in particular has just been phenomenally successful. What do you think the secret is? Nick? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's definitely not me because I've been in so many. But I don't know. It's a combination of things, and, and we love the, um, writing songs together. And I think that's what strikes a chord with people is the actual songs, you know. And, and Jenny's the most spectacular mm. vocalist I've ever met. You know, she's Stunning just incredible, and, and she's got a real X factor, and, and people just naturally sort of I don't know. Gravitate, yeah. gravitate. Yeah. She's yeah. amazing. She's good, yeah. Uh, well, it's nice to see families, you know, playing together. Family that plays together. Plays together. Plays together. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming in. Thanks and, for having us. Uh, mm. Looking forward. So the tours are Devils Can Play New Plymouth on New Year's Eve, Wellington on the 2nd of January, and Napier on January the 3rd. You can check out Event Finder for ticket details. Yeah, have a great Christmas, guys. Great yeah. to see you. Thank you, you. Yeah, awesome. Awesome, yes.